Okay, before we get started machining this, there's one change I want to make. Uh, we go to these contour here and also the one on the other side and we want to click edit and under the heights tab where it says bottom height from selected contour it shows offset of zero I want to change that to minus 0.010 ten thousandths and click OK and what that's going to do if you go up here to our uh, home cube and click front and scroll your thing to move in you can see now our uh, toolpath is going ten thousandths below the material and I want to do that to make sure that the bit clears the material and doesn't leave a little skin on the bottom and if we look at the other one on the other side that we haven't changed yet you can see it's flush with the bottom so we want to change that one also so click edit go to heights bottom height select a contour minus 0 0.010 and click OK and now you can see we have our ten thousandths uh, below the material now we want to do the same thing on our holes for our screw screws as you can see the uh, bit is coming down just to the bottom of the material and we want to make that come down ten thousandths below as well so right click on that click edit and we'll do the same thing under the heights tab under bottom height and selected contours we'll do minus 0.010 and click OK and now our tool bit will come down and clear the material to make sure we don't leave a skin on the bottom just in case our thickness is off a little bit on our material so now we can get ready to machine this part so before we can machine our part we have to re post our G code so we'll select the first set of operations again and click up here under post process put our name back in three by three by one vacuum pod and we have to you know it saved our settings so we're okay there and click post and save it says it already exists so we click want to replace it click yes and there's our code we'll do the same to the other two operations So we we'll go up here and select post process again and three by three by one vacuum pod groove just so it'll be a different name I think I named the other one just three by three by one pod but we'll leave, leave it at this settings are okay click post click save and there's our G code for our groove and holes for our feet so now we're ready to machine this part here I am cutting the uh, stock out of a piece of 12 by 12 HDPE material now I'm machining uh, one edge uh, to machine it flat 
from the bandsaw cut and the rough, rough edge and then I'm going to flip it over and machine the other edge down to the uh, 3 inch width that we need. Okay, we've got the part in the vise and we used a center uh, edge finder to get the center of the part to zero the center and our quarter inch bit in the uh, ER collet. And we're ready to go. We've got the program loaded into Mach 3. So let's give it a shot. Well, there's that part of it. Now let me change to the uh, other tool bit and we'll do the groove and the holes for the feet. All right, we got the bit changed to the three millimeter. We're gonna do the uh, groove and the holes for the feet.
there's our part. We just have to drill the hole in the side and tap it for the uh, push lock fitting and it'll be ready to use. I drilled a quarter inch hole from the edge all the way down to meet the center and now I'm going to use a 7 16 bit and drill down about 7 eighths of an inch for the uh, pipe tap. Won't quite start, I gotta go a little deeper with the tap. Well, here's the finished product. Didn't come out quite as good as I'd hoped. I had a few uh, setbacks or things that went wrong. First thing that went wrong was when it drilled this hole here, it didn't go down quite deep enough to the center. So I had to finish it out with a drill bit at the end. I didn't film that uh, for the hole this way to meet it. Also, these corners, somehow when it went to do the contour around the corner, it was almost uh, between a 32nd and a 16th off. You can see that little offset there, and this one's uh, a little flatter on the edge corner. So somehow, uh, I don't know exactly what happened there. But other than that, turned out pretty decent. Um, we've got our gasket in there, got our vacuum hose hooked up to it, so. Uh, I've got a piece of aluminum here to set on there to see how it's going to do, so let's set that on there and try it out.
don't know if you can hear it or see it suck down, but it's pretty darn tight. Hopefully it'll be tight enough to mill something. What I might do is try to make another one of these, make it just a hair bigger so that when we machine, well, we wouldn't have to. Maybe just a little bit bigger so when we machine it, it doesn't cut into this one if it's off a little bit, just to see if it'll hold it to machine it. It's holding pretty good. The vacuum is uh, holding it about. 25 HG on the gauge. So it's still pretty good. So that's it for this project. So until next time, thanks for watching.